wag mong titikman kung hindi mo naman kakainin. Hindi ako nagtatagalog. Honestly, they know their divas. My best pickup line. Wow. Um, I think it's really refreshing hearing questions coming from poor girls such as you guys. Hi, I'm Kaya with Bria, Camille, and Gia, and you're watching G Talk. Will you marry me? Okay. The essence of a man is to take care of the woman he loves. I have the perfect marriage to follow. There's a show called G Talk. Beautiful, yes, but fashionable, no. Shout out to G Talk. He began his screen acting career by appearing in a Philippine toothpaste commercial. In 2007, Rosel won the Best Supporting Actor Award at the 30th Gawad Urian Awards for his work in the indie film Romeo and Juliet. In 2020, he bagged the Most Favorite Foreign Actor Award at the 7th Face of the Year Awards for the romantic comedy Because of You in Vietnam. So please welcome the handsome Rafael Rossell. Woo! <laughs> Yay! Hey, thank you for having me. Love the intro. Awesome. Hi. <laughs> I forgot about those. <laughs> so welcome to the show. Yes, thank you. great to meet you. Yeah, it's great to be here. It's an honor and uh, I'm excited. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> So, let's get to know another side of you. So, let's play G Talk's two minute fast talk. Okay. Okay, are you ready? All right, let's go. <laughs> A. Assumptions about you. A lot of people think that I have all the answers to my life, that I always uh, know what to do, probably because of uh, the limited amount of social media posts that I share. But the truth is, I don't. I'm still struggling with a lot of answers and looking for solutions to everyday problems. B. What's on your bucket list? On my bucket list, I want to, of course, travel the rest of the world that I haven't been to. Skydiving is definitely in there and uh, surfing a big wave that's bigger than three people. C, most beautiful local celebrity. Well, she's got a lot of hype right now. I probably have to go with Heart Evangelista. D, how to deal with diva co-stars. I don't. Honestly, they know they're divas and uh, they'll be their diva mode. The best way to deal with them is probably to just be nice and play along. I, I I like peace of mind. So after work, I like to go home with peace of mind without arguing with anyone. It's really just work. <laughs> E, whose conversation you'd love to eavesdrop on? Probably my parents when they talk about me and what they think of me. F, fun fact about you. Only people that are in close contact with me or know me personally or are around me usually know that because that's when it comes out. I get really hyped up easily. P, the realization of growing up. When I was younger, I thought I had the answers to everything. And then growing up, I just realized that I did not have the right questions. H. A favorite hugot line with acting. Wag mong titikman kung hindi mo naman kakainin. Don't taste it if you're not gonna eat it. Try that as you wish. <laughs> I, something that you want to improve on. Probably getting into the mood of going out and socializing. I'm a bit of an introvert and I have my moods. I need to charge my battery to go out and socialize. So. I, got, I want to improve on my extrovertedness. Jay, if you could have any other job, what would you choose? Any other job? I'd probably choose to become medicinal caregiver in Amsterdam or Canada or California. Okay, your go-to karaoke song. Well, you done done me I bet I felt it. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. L, worst pickup line. Anything that starts with so. Um, so, uh, do you come here often? So, what are you drinking? So, what's your number? All that. <laughs> um, a celebrity you are mistaken for. They call me Derek Ramsey a lot of times or Sam Milby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a childhood nickname that you didn't like. When I was a kid, I used I I, I was such a baby, so they called me babes, and I've been stuck with it all the way till this age and. But I've learned to accept it though, but I don't really like it. Oh, a childhood obsession. I love video games. P, what did you do with your first paycheck? I, I bought a car, an old secondhand uh, Toyota Corolla box type and a lot of food. Q, your favorite motivational quote. Uh, I have one that I've lived, that I live with all the way till now. It's uh, love life in all ways. So no matter what happens to you, you never know the outcome of the consequences. So no matter what happens, you just got to love it. R, biggest regret. Taking the controversial shot. S, a secret skill. 
I, I I know how to juggle. <laughs> I don't know if that's a skill, but I it can is. juggle three balls. <laughs> Surf Town Manila. Oh yeah, Surf Town Manila was a project that um, we're still working on, but it's basically a wave pool that will uh, generate perfect waves for anyone that's near the city, so they won't have to travel too far uh, to try to get perfect waves to surf on. Because the forecast on internet is just really really inaccurate you most unusual fan request uh someone asked me to like sign their uh their, their body part that was pretty oh. unusual like a really awkward position body part <laughs> v would you rather yeah. lose your vision or your hearing i would like to keep my vision w how to respond when someone says they like you Thank you. I appreciate you sharing that intimate information. <laughs> X. Wake up next to your ex or next to a hungry baby tiger. I'll I'll fight a hungry baby tiger any day. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Note to your younger self. Don't take it so seriously. Anything that you go through will eventually pass. So uh, don't react too much based on emotions because that'll create more consequences rather than just letting the emotions pass by and use your mind to deal with uh, the difficult situation. Z, a 30-day comfort zone challenge. No illegal herbal remedies for 30 days. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Ramsey or Sam Milby. So what do you actually tell them? Um, well, at the airport one time, they a, a girl came over like, uh, Sam, 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 can I have a picture? And I was like, yeah, pero sa Sam palin kita jan, meaning I'll slap you, but that's just for fun. Um, I just usually go with it and eventually they'll figure it out. I don't usually try to correct them because it'll ruin their moment. I just ride their hype. Oh my God. That's so spooky. Do you sign it with their name too? I sign it with the uh, with the name they think I am, and I also sign it with uh, my name after. Uh, <laughs> oh, so they get to <laughs> so they can they choose. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, people make mistakes. I mean, like I, I confuse people every time, so I understand where they're coming from. I mean, we're all just in one screen anyway. Like, what did you say happened with your most unusual fan request? Well, her her friend asked asked me to sign like. Like she moved her bra aside and she asked me to sign oh. there. And uh, nice. then the friend wanted to like uh, one up her by asking me to sign inside her thigh. <gasps> what? So You're that was a little awkward They're with crazy. everyone watching her. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But you How know, spur of the moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Earlier you said worst pickup lines or anything that begins with so. What are your best pickup lines? Like I'm, I would like to say that I'm the type of guy that that doesn't really go to the club to pick up girls. I find it like uh, it's it's not the right place for me to look for some partner. But usually the pickup line, I just go for a hi, what's up? <laughs> Nothing more to it than that, with no intentions. Because like I notice that when you go in with intentions, I usually mess up. But uh, just to say what's up and uh, get to know a person genuinely, not because of their looks, but because they're right there and uh, getting into a good conversation, I think is the best way to do that, which usually for me doesn't happen in clubs, more like uh, uh, where my hobbies are. For example, when I'm out surfing or when I'm uh, when I'm playing board games with friends and they bring their friends and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm boring like that. Sorry. <laughs> That's not boring. That's genuine. Um, yeah, but yeah. speaking of your hobbies, so fun fact, you love yeah. to learn new stuff. What is something new that you've, yeah. been, you've been working on that you've learned? The latest thing that I'm learning right now is TikTok. <laughs> I'm um, gonna try to join the game of TikTok. I'm, I'm planning to um, put up my own live stream, uh, more on game streaming. I'm still trying to create a character for that. And uh, just recently got myself into the art of jiu-jitsu last year. So that's pretty interesting. You did other martial arts, right? Yeah, I used to do capoeira a lot before, but I started off with like karate and ninjutsu when I was a kid. Mm. Yeah. Well, you said um, you like to play video games. What are some games you like to play? Oh, I'm a big fan of Tekken, uh, Grand Theft Auto, Dying Light 2 to come out. I think it's out actually, I just haven't ordered it yet. Are you the type of person who would play morning until night? Uh, yeah, if I'm allowed to by my girlfriend, then uh, I'll play. But if not, um, probably just an hour or two to keep myself disciplined and keep myself focused on what's important. <laughs> Is she gonna get mad if you play more? No, it's more of like just trying to avoid the conflict of her getting mad. <laughs> You were born and bred in Norway. Right? Yeah, I was born and bred in Norway. How 
did you learn? Tagalog! I basically came from Norway here to the Philippines not knowing uh, not too much Tagalog. I know I knew like words like plato, kain na tayo, but with a really, really heavy accent. And uh, the network that that signed me up basically told me that within the station, I'm not allowed to speak English at all, only Tagalog. So in order for me to learn that, I had to to learn how to, I had to read out loud the tabloids, the old school Filipino gossip magazines. I had to read it out loud for like an hour every day. I had to take uh, one hour grammar lessons. And then uh, what really sealed it all together was joining a Filipino play that was in pure Tagalog. So that basically forced me to learn the language. Yeah, it was fun. And uh, you basically don't have a choice on stage. You have to pronounce it properly with the proper emotions, but you have at least three to four months to memorize and learn it. So that became my intense learning schedule. Did you mess up your lines, your Tagalog lines? Oh yeah, several times. Yeah, my first two performances, I probably messed up, but uh, the, the, the character was like this charming guy. So uh, the audience just, you know, they just, encouraged and they clapped and it became a really good show in the end what line was that i uh, i'm supposed to run to the to one of the actresses with with an iron it's called the plancha but i would pronounce it like tancha <laughs> <laughs> so that was pretty funny for the audience because it's like such a heavy cebuano accent and it's because my dad's cebuano so. Mm. so how long did it take you to really um learn tagalog Oh, I'm still learning. When I'm not taping, I really speak with a heavy accent and I purposely make it an accent, like with an Inglesero accent, just to make fun of it. So people won't take me too seriously when I speak Tagalog because, you know, people make fun of people. I make fun of myself before they have the chance to make fun of me, basically. Nice. <laughs> so for an example of that would be like, if I'm going to say, Hindi ako nagtatagalog, the way I would say it in real life would be, Hindi ako nagtatagalog. So... <laughs> No more to make fun of that because I did it first, you know. And you first started out as a on a Philippine TV commercial. Yeah, I got that commercial when I was doing the Filipino play, actually. That was my first gig on TV. It was a toothpaste commercial. I was already in the industry when they inquired for me, but they get, they, they sent an inquiry because they saw me at the mall. And uh, I was in such a rush and I really don't talk to strangers a lot when I wasn't in showbiz yet. So I was just walking really fast. And uh, the way they found me was they asked around and uh, eventually they called uh, the network and asked for me there. When you were nine years old, <laughs> you read the Silva Mind Control. It's a self-development program which improves. Yeah. Functions. That's amazing at which... nine years old. Yeah, because my mom was into meditation and I was obsessed with the Ninja Turtles. And uh, there's a scene there where they gather around the bonfire to like meditate so that they could contact their master. And then uh, I was wondering what that was all about. And my mom told me that that's called meditation. So she bought this book by Jose Silva. And uh, in there, it, it basically taught you how to regulate your brain frequencies from alpha, beta, delta, and theta. And uh, up till now, I still use that depending on what situation I'm in. Nine? Yeah, it, it's weird. <laughs> like other people learn how to sing at that age and uh, dance at that age. But uh, I kind of skipped that and just <laughs> learned how to evolve my mind. <laughs> you skipped that to become an ninja yeah. turtle. Well, I'm, yes. I'm, happy you guys, I'm happy you guys find it interesting. Most people find it weird, but no, uh, yeah, it's, no, it's, it's really actually cool. pretty interesting. <laughs> you you so, read it yeah. and you understood it. I understood the process of it and how to get there, but the scientific the science the science and the technicalities behind it I only, I only understood it later on in life actually just a few years ago how everything's connected and with the help of herbal remedies from california of course <laughs> that actually aided a lot when you your answer to how to respond when somebody says that they like you was that like a rejection or like an exception <laughs> yeah well that depends on what context they're asking they're telling you that in right so uh if they just say it out of the blue then that it's it's more of an acceptance but if they've been courting you i guess yeah. it'll be more of a rejection but then if you've allowed them to reach that point of them telling you that they like you then maybe you've given the wrong signals if they think they're right. comfortable enough to say that right and that's in the romantic context but if it's just as a person like hey man i really like you it's like yeah i like you right. too man that's why we're hanging out how often do you get those <laughs> uh well <laughs> it's Question. weird because people are very open about it on social media they just 
totally say it out. And I always give the appreciation because I know that it's because of a post or something that I share that they say that because you can't just like someone out of looks. That's just, I don't, I don't find that too genuine. Like really liking someone has to be a totality. Well, that's my opinion at least. So yeah, wow. it's all about context and intentions. <laughs> You seem very self-aware, Raphael, and uh, like introspective, right? So keeping that in mind and like how you relate to other people in relationships, what would you say are like two of the biggest things you've learned about yourself from like romantic relationships you've had? Everybody reacts out of childhood traumas. So if you understand someone's reaction from their childhood traumas, then you don't have to give an emotional reaction back because you understand. So. That if you do this, then a lot of arguments can be avoided and uh, conflicts can be solved in a calm manner. A second one would be that if you do everything you can in a relationship, then there's really no regrets if it ends because you really did everything you could. So it's just a matter of finding the person that reciprocates what you give out basically Very it's all well. about chemistry girls <laughs> <laughs> yeah and you're the creator of that chemistry you're always the creator of that chemistry we learned so much from you Rafael. <laughs> well that's cool what? yeah awesome fun <laughs> I, I had a good time i love all the questions um i think uh whoever celebrity you guys are going to interview in the future will also enjoy the questions it's out of the ordinary and uh I think the weirder you make it, uh, the more fun it's going to be. And uh, uh, in in the in this world of showbiz, where reporters ask the same same questions over and over again, I think it's really refreshing hearing questions coming from four girls such as you guys. It's very charming and it's very awesome. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been fun. Other side of you. That's yeah, fun. yeah. Thank you. Life lessons can come to us in many forms. Some come from experiences, watching inspirational documentaries, or stepping outside your comfort zone and achieving new things. But whatever it is that you do, never stop learning. And we leave you with this quote by Albert Einstein. Education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. Yes. <laughs> love that. I love that.